In this section, we will talk about the automated actions in Odoo. So automated actions are basically actions that can be triggered automatically on a predefined time interval like uh, daily or weekly, monthly etc. So these are they are also called cron jobs. So because the model used is ir.cron, I will show you. So for demonstrating the cron job, I have uh, created some modifications here which is quotation expiry date and a new state called quotation expiration. So what I'm going to do is that I will check daily if the quotation expiry today is the quotation expiry date or today is uh, or the quotation expiry date is over. So you have three purchase quotations here. We set the quotation expiry date. So today is uh, seven. So I will set one as eleven. Other one as twenty-five. And the third one as four, which is. Uh, before today that means that quotation is expired so we have set it like that now what we have to do is that we have to write an action to check whether the quotation has expired or not so let us write the function so these are the two new fields I have just added. So let's uh, write a function. So expiry. So we will calculate it based on today's date. So today. we will take all the purchase orders Now we will check each order, the process orders. So we only we are only looking for the RFQ state uh, and the expiry of the RFQ. So RFQ state is called draft. So let us write at order dot. Now we will check the expiry date, which is expiry date. We will know this expiry date. So order dot expiry date. Press that today, which is it just checks if the expiry date is below today. So if that is the case, then order dot state. So we will need to change the state to expired if the quotation has expired so here as you can see the quotation expired state selection is expired so we will write that so 
so now we have written the action that is to be done so now what we need to do is that we need to do this action daily to check uh, all the quotations daily to see if any of the quotations has expired so as to change the state so we will write the cron job now so in an xml file we will search for the model name called aya.com set the xml So we will change the record name and as you can see the model is ir.prom and we are running the cron job in purchase order so we will write purchase Quotation expiry check. Which is the name of that control. Then we will write the model ID, this corresponding model of that corresponding model where the count job has to be done. So it is model. The model name is purchase dot order so here we will write purchase order the state will be code we will ignore the user ID for now and the code section we will for the action or the function we write so here we return the function called check expiry so here we will call that function model dot check expiry here we can set the interval number which is the number of interval between two executions of the actions so we will write one and this is the interval type interval type is basically the uh, basically the unit of measure of interval which is there are uh, minutes hours days weeks and months so we will write this as days and the number called is how many times you need to run this action if you uh, write it as minus one this action will go on indefinitely as it will not have any limit We'll also write a field for the active. To set it as true. So here also there is one more field which is do all which is a boolean precising uh, whether the missed actions have to be executed in the case of uh, server restarts so we have written the form job now we will write it in the manifest Okay. Now let us upgrade the app. Right. 
let us try to upgrade it okay now let us go to the settings technical here you can see the scheduled actions let's go there and you can see the phone job we created this is the one So what happens is that the function we wrote it will execute automatically every one day that is daily. So what we are going to do is that we will check if it runs uh, by clicking on the run manually to check if it works or not. So let's go to the purchase. Let's select only the RF. As you can see, the, the quotation has already been expired here because when we exp uh, when we updated it, it, it ran one time. So let us do one thing. We will uh, select another RFQ. We will try to expire the. We will try to decrease the expiry date. So we will set the expiry date as three. Now that quotation has expired. So now as you can see we have changed the date and uh, the quotation is in RFQ state. Now let's see what happens once we run the scheduled action. We have ran it. So let us refresh this. As you can see the purchase order P002. The quotation has been expired. So this is how you write the automated actions in Odoo.